Folks, what's going on? Heir of Cathay back, and we're going to keep the Storm Dragon campaign rolling. Um, when we left off last time, I had ended the turn to save my game. I had recorded those last two episodes back to back. The action was pretty thick, and we've got more coming our way. The threat to the Great Bastion is still high. We can see a large army here from the, um, oh, what is it, the Puppets of Misrule, <laughs> the Warriors of Chaos. And then we've got to the Yusak of Norska, so there are threats. There are definitely threats outside the gate. Um, speaking of, the Turtle Gate is four turns from completing an upgrade. What I'm going to do, I want to kill, um, I want to kill the Blessed Dread at Weijin, but I also still need to do some um, replenishing, so I'm going to move my armies along the Great Bastion here, which hopefully will be enough to scare away um, to scare away these Chaos Armies for the time being. And then the other thing I'm kind of hoping for is that it might be enough to scare Lokir out of the settlement, which would be really great, but I'm not counting on that yet. Depending on how much... Yeah, I mean, they don't have a huge garrison at Weijin, but he does have a full army there, and he could have other armies headed our way. Um, I want to get Lokir off of our flank and get him off quickly so I can focus on the Skaven within and the Chaos without. Um, obviously, we could have Kolek come tearing through at pretty much any time. And there's other threats that could come our way, so we need to get things done here. We, we don't really have a lot of time uh, to be playing like this with our, our enemies. All right, so I'm going to do the uh, hidden stores. Tool of great and let's get back here, and I'm going to build up the archer towers, try and improve the defenses. I mean, we want to build just about anything and everything we can. I guess where it makes sense, at least. Uh, terracotta Graveyard we could build up now, too. All right, save a little bit of cash from there. Um, I'm going to wait on the outpost, though. We probably should build the outpost. It gives us access to some extra recruiting. It could be very handy over time. So let's see what happens on this one. I'm hoping the Chaos guys will kind of flutter off, especially if they can see my armies there. They probably won't want to come towards a gate settlement, which is tough. And especially when there's armies there to back it up. And like I said, I don't know whether we can be seen all... Yep, so Chaos did Trust back up. The They're not going to stay back for long, though. Um, these guys want military access. I'm going to grant it because they're at war with the Blessed Dread. Any chance to run over the Blessed Dread would be blessed at this moment. And we did Second not see Lokir fall back from Weijin, so I'm going to push up, get eyes full on the settlement. And I'm going to run the upgrade to the skill points here. We finish Searing Doom. Transmutational Lead is a nice debuff. Let's grab that one. And then let's go ahead and siege this settlement. And I'm going to bring in my second army. There's just so many spearmen. They have a fair number of their crossbows. They've brought into play as well. Let's continue the siege. I don't want to siege this for a super long time. So I'd like to either force an action against the Druki or get a get a comfortable auto resolve here either way. The auto resolve saying we lose, I disagree firmly. But I mean Lokir is tough and they do have a large settlement. We don't have the siege towers yet. It counts that type of thing. Every turn he sits here, he's going to start losing troops. So the uh, the ball is in his court and he can either rot or fight. Has not survived until now. He got beat no again. Friends. At least I'm pretty sure he did. Um, because his strength rank dropped a lot. He's um, wanting to pay us, and he wants us to join a war against some rebels. I'm going to say yes, just to make him happy for now. I want a good relationship with him, and giving them a little bit of money will probably help them. The AI gets pretty massive economic buffs, but so do all the other factions around him. And depending on how the auto resolve goes, like, you know, if the auto resolve's just liking the Skaven, or if the auto resolve's liking whoever he's fighting, it could get ugly um, for Dear Brother. So we we want our, our metal dragon brother to, to live. 
looks like a small horde of beastmen returned. The attrition starting to set in. Look here, took some pretty serious casualties. And already it has gone from a, a loss <laughs> to a Pyrrhic victory. We're going to siege him one more turn, which is going to really put a hurt on his troops. And he could bring in reinforcements. That could get really bad, and I may end up regretting this look, look here. Speaking of regrets. So we got to get this job done quickly because... There's already two groups of Chaos headed towards the Turtle Gate. Turtle Gate will not be able to hold against that um, for long, if at all. That's 34 different units, and then there's the other army there. So we need to take care of Wei Jin, and we need to take care of it quickly. Uh, it says Lord's not moved. That I understand. We finished more research. We are only one away from gaining balance, finally. Let's get the uh, income from cities. It's only four turns. And let's see. Building available. All right, when Chang finished its upgrade, I would like to upgrade its defenses to top tier. And we do have some income already from trade there. But I would like a little more income. Yeah, income makes sense. At this, well, there's a specialty building we can put here. It gives us extra control, extra control in adjacent regions, growth, punishment, and magic chance. Um, it's very expensive and takes a long time to build. Uh, I'm not going to put that in at the moment. Uh, I was doing my research, which is going to push me over. But we could go ahead and still do this one here. Okay, let's go ahead and end our turn. I'm really hoping Loki will either fight me or we get a very favorable auto resolve because we've got to go defend the Turtle Gate too. The Turtle Gate's going to get hit by those. Is that I don't remember the name of that war band out there. Is it the Kurgan War Band? They may have gone extinct. It may be a different name. I don't know, but they're going to assault the gate. The threat level's high. They're not going to see a big defense, and they're going to come after us. I would be shocked if they do not. They didn't move any further on this one. Harmony is finely balanced. And because of the balanced harmony, we're going to get extra 20 diplomatic relations with Cathay. We're going to get cheaper construction, extra growth, income from yin and yang buildings, extra control, a reduction to corruption, and we get the ancestral warriors. Um, so that's going to be a nice balance for us. And you can see that's going to help to stabilize. What is this? How did he get in here? So there is an army, a chaos army, that came in near Nangao. Nangao is pretty well defended, though. He's not going to be able to get through that. Nanli is also well defended, though. It does not have actual walls, even though, well, I think it would give me a settlement battle. I'm not 100% sure there because of the way CA changed things. Um, Lokir has taken some significant casualties, but it's still calling out a close victory for us on the auto-resolve. But we need to get rid of him. The auto-resolve's fairly favorable. I mean, I think we should just take it. I don't want to fight a thousand Dread Spears. We shall Didn't look like it was going to kill off any of my units in totality. It did not. Um, so it's not a great result for us, but it is a result. We get a lot of money off of Lokir. Picked up a Banner of Eternal Flame. Gained some rank. And we're going to occupy the Eternal City. Make a watchtower of it. And we're going to need to defend My ancestors require Turtle Gate, so I'm going to... Favored daughter, I permit you to rest. I'm gonna take this army and move back this way to try and and fend off the chaos troops, make them not want to be there. All right, let's take a look at the skill upgrades here. This army is not going to have a very tough leader to help it at the moment. It's going to take quite a while before we're to that point, but that skill point gain there was helpful. Our income is up quite a bit from having captured Wei Jin because we picked up this spice trading post. There's another building for income there, which is fine for now. We 
probably need other things there. Um, we're about to put more yin there as well. So we probably want some yang. Well, actually, the extra yin, uh, yin is probably from this building here. This building doesn't really belong in the settlement, to be honest. We have not gotten access to any shooting units yet in terms of, like, guns. And honestly, crane gunners would be stupid helpful. Uh, the juggernaut could be quite good, as could the grand cannon. So... Some good units here. Fire rain rockets and divine lance batteries also both... Nice. Now, the Divine Lance Battery and the Juggernaut are part of the, and so is the uh, Nangao Rifleman, are all part of the unit, and so are the Dragon Breath Gunners, by the way. All of those are part of the Dead's Cathay unit mod that I brought into this one. Okay, let's look at our upgrade for Miao Ying. We had given her Imposing Range and Persistent Fire. Lord's Army, so this could make her better fighting chaos. This one's going to give me a better cooldown for all those lore of life and um, less magic cost, which would be really handy, honestly. Because then by the time we run an upgrade here, too, we would have significantly less magic cost for those lore of life. Or we can work on Lightning Strike. We should probably work on Lightning Strike first, because Lightning Strike can absolutely save your butt in these legendary campaigns um, under the right circumstances, so... As much as I would rather do those other ones because they're a little more exciting, we don't really have a choice here. Let's do this upgrade there. And let's see here. Uh, we could build our outpost. Um, go ahead and build up this industry here. See what that Chaos Army does. That makes me a little nervous. But, I mean, I am in a better position to defend the Turtle Gate now. And the Turtle Gate's about to finish its construction. Um, we can go ahead and make this upgrade, which will drop the upkeep cost of any army that stays garrisoned. And then this one will increase replenishment and increase growth. So let's head down both of those paths. Um, forget that. And end another turn. Here's to hoping for the best. Um, obviously, uh, Miao Ying could come under siege at um, Wei Jin again. Um, there could be multiple Druki armies out in the distance waiting to come in and get me, so we're not done with the Druki yet. There's still a lot of work to do there. I might really need to focus on reducing the threat to the Great Bastion, um, so I may want to go ahead and point the, the compass towards the Great Bastion and see if we can really help reduce that threat level. We are back in balance. Let's take a look at the compass. We are pointed over here in two turns. We'll pick up the Dragon Emperor's Wrath. I think we'll do that. Um, and then I'll point it back towards the Great Bastion to try and reduce that, that threat level. The attack on the Great Bastion has started. Ooh. Oh, yeah, that's bad. Uh, never mind. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, <laughs> Uh, I have to wait two turns. Crap. Shaper of the eight winds. All right. Well, the this the blood. turtle gate has just increased its capability significantly. We have a lot of crossbow units now defending, as well as halberds and, and jade warriors. So. It's gotten considerably stronger. And when I move this army in there, they're going to get much faster replenishment. And they're also not paying near as much upkeep. Um, and while that's I the case, I could probably do a little bit of global recruitment to make this army a Lord bit stronger. Which would probably not be a bad idea. Storm Dragon. Wei Jin is Yowie. kind of coming under our control here. This is good news. Uh, we're two turns before we finish a yin research. So I'll go ahead and throw a yang garrison building here to try and hold the balance together. We're one turn away from finishing this building. Ready but it would need to go multiple more turns um, before we're really ready to build any good artillery out of it. So these settlements all belong to this province, um, but at Haichi here, Jiju, 
we have to worry, and then they're all the way down here. What is that one? Zanji? Uh, Zanshi? Looks like Brothers put together some armies here. So that's good stuff. He's not being overtaken by the Skaven. The Skaven are probably still in, in control of the mountains. These gemstones would be pretty sweet to get a hold of. And it's honestly too bad that Brother let the ogres get a hold of those spices. Oh, we got sieged at Nangao. Uh, the auto resolve is going to give us this, and so I'm going to take this. Um, when the auto resolve is being kind, um, just take it. So that's going to get rid of that chaos army. I'll take the extra cash off of them. It's going to get rid of them. Get them out of our territory. Allow Nangao to continue to grow. And then let's take a look at the turtle gate. Uh, we can put another building in here. What makes sense here? Man, it'd be cool to be able to get Celestial. These Bannermen are a new unit. These are a spear unit that were added. Um, so you can see there, I mean, they're, they're not amazing. They're just really good anti-large units with heavy armor, and I think they have some special abilities. I can't pin it up at the moment, but they have some special abilities that kind of give them something unique. I think... I'm going to merge those. And then while those are merged, I'm going to go ahead and try and pick up a couple more crossbows. They'll be expensive coming from the global pool, but this allows me to maintain the garrison at the wall. Um, keep Chaos worried about whether they can succeed and uh, allow me to be successful here. So I, I think in the meantime, I, I mean, I think I want this building here long term. But it's going to be a while before we can get to it. So I kind of feel like in the meantime, I'm going to maybe put a training camp in here. These are pretty cheap. It would give me access to really good basic troops. Cathay has really solid mainline troops. They're not like amazing, like blow people apart. But for kind of like mid-tier mainline troops, they're quite good. So we want to take advantage of those. All right, Miao Ying is going to be ready to get on the move, though we'll have to do so carefully. Because there is still the threat of the Druki, and we do not want them getting Wei Jin back. And we really are going to have to, like I said, we're going to have to focus on getting rid of the Chaos Threat. Now, they may be attacking the Great Bastion. Yeah, they did. So they already attacked the Bastion. So there is another gate settlement that is open. These guys want a military alliance now. I wonder if they would be interested in a confederation. Military Alliance, Defensive Alliance. Does not look like confederation is even an option at the moment. Well, we'll go ahead and take the Military Alliance. And we'll just propose the offer there. Agreed. May um, we need to go resettle that other gate. Keep the ogre on retainer. Feed the ogre. Oh, so that one lasts for 30 turns. This one only lasts for three. It's only one recruit rank. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. I don't really see why I should be overly interested in that. All right, Gold Tooth and Eye Biter got together. We were on pretty good terms with both. Blooded. We are still recruiting here, but... Oh gosh, man, they're sieged over here too with multiple armies. Windshaper. This is bad, folks. The defender. See, I've still got to potentially contend with Favored daughter. tax by the Druki. Descended from celestial glory. The path I move of here. Destiny. Service is every Cathayan's duty. Yeah, let's move here. And I'm going to ditch these two peasants. Only the worthy may serve. And grab a couple serve more swords. And honor your ancestors. Just kind of buff that army up a little bit. I'd like to have some more crossbows as well, but we're just we're short on time, so we're going to have to take what we can get. Storm Dragon. And I'm torn right now. Should I I, I want to go push the Druki and get rid of him, but that's going to pull this other army all the way over here. And we have a major threat uh, to the Great Bastion that's right now. 
There are significant forces of chaos in the vicinity, and our allies need help. Lest we could be seeing these war bands flood into our lands. Ready to defend. Wei Jin is a few turns from really being a little more self-sufficient on defense. We don't really have an option. We need to get over here and push back this assault on the wall. I can probably hurry back. Let's see, Terracotta Graveyard does not have any... You're balanced at the moment, about to finish a yin, and we're about to, we've got another yang lined up as well. That's three turns out, so let's do... Let's do another yang. The yin market makes me more. And we could do some more... Research, I don't know. Prince construction of wares market building, prevents construction of spice market building. So they just prevent each other. Gems, goods, emporiums, merchant caravans. Um, I mean, this one definitely makes us more cash, up to 250. Well, no, actually, that one jumps up more there at the end. Okay, okay, uh, let's, let's go down this route. That'll work. Can I move the compass yet? Nope, we're one more turn before I can move the compass. Okay. Nangao can be improved. Let's do that. And that's going to be a pretty good start for now. Caravan can be dispatched. Let's load up our caravan and send it out. It can take some extra cargo now because of the research we did, which is going to make our trip considerably more valuable. It's the travel time here. Ten turns. That one's only seven turns. That one's only six turns for a pretty good turnaround. So let's take the trip to the border princes at Mermidens. And dispatch that caravan. Looks like a relatively safe route as well. Will make my father proud. We'll make some big money off of that. If we can continue to hold out a while longer, we've got better units, artillery, other stuff on the way. We, this is a good opportunity, although it's a little dangerous right now. The fact that those allies lost the Dragon Gate is an opportunity for me to take over its management. Oh, the Skaven just showed up at Weijin. Freaking crap. You stand before the Supreme Matriarch once. Freaking crap. Um. <laughs> uh, the Skaven have not showed themselves at all. And they showed up at the absolute worst possible time. Look at all the stuff going on. All right, well, Chaos broke their attempt on us there. Shaper of the eight winds. That's good news. Um, I can't quite reach the Dragon Gate, but we we cannot leave the Dragon Gate. Oh, what, what happened here? Why didn't the recruitment take Natural place? Authority. It did take place. I will not oh, I couldn't recruit slow. to full. Yeah, it makes sense. I expect loyalty, efficiency, and harmony. It's the local recruiting stance. We're still... Let's take this army. Child of the nine. And let's move to here. A thoughtful maneuver. And I'm going to remove two of those archers. Does the spirit dragon I'm going to roll with to one more... privilege. Jade Warrior. Service a couple of crossbows. I will not yeah, and then I can get rid of the last slow. peasants and like six, seven crossbows somewhere in that neighborhood ought to be pretty good. Our garrison now is fairly significant at the Turtle Gate. There's two Skaven armies over here though. Both of them look like they're trash for the most part. Don't cross wires. What kind of? We didn't have many troops. The Emperor's chosen daughter. I'm gonna move up in an ambush stance closer to the Skaven. The Skaven might tear that down on this turn end, which would suck because I have a fair bit of money invested at Wei Jin. And I can't ignore the Dragon Gate either because I can't just let these guys waltz through. Um, the Turtle Gate will be okay. Um, so let's see whether we can beat back the Skaven. I'm going to take it easy on money because 
It's a little tight right now. I'm gonna switch back over to the Great Bastion and keep it here until we get that threat from the Great Bastion way down. Um, we are currently balanced. So, looks like I got some buildings on the way. Is that gonna change our balance? I think, so. well, Wei Jin's not gonna finish yet. It will eventually change the balance and it would change it into the Yang. Um, so we might want to go into the tech and pick another yin. It gives us plus one here. Um, I mean, I'm not using any at the moment, but it may not be a bad thing to have overall. Could just research something else right now, I guess. Uh, but let's go. Let's go ahead and do that one. The Celestial All right. Empire ever improves. Oof. What's gonna happen here? <laughs> Taking on two Skaven armies with Miao Ying is a risk, because if there are any good units in those two armies, we could be in some serious trouble. Yeah, the Skaven attacked. Um, good and bad news. Good news is, is their units are all complete garbage. Uh, the bad news is, is that I'm not there, and despite their units being garbage, they're going to destroy Wei Jin. They sacked it, and now they're going to run off. So that's irritating because that just cost me several thousand gold at a minimum. Non-aggression pact. I have no need to be at war with you for the moment. Um. Whoa! Where did these guys come from? Well, this really sucks because these guys came from a different direction that I didn't notice and just destroyed Natalie. So that's thousands of dollars that I'd invested in that settlement. So Wei Jin and Nan Li sacked in the same turn in. That throws our harmony off, which is going to hurt other things like our public order. <sighs> All because Lothar somehow was allowed in. He may have come from this direction. Didn't come through the gate, it doesn't seem like. The dragon blooded. Lothar's gonna now start taking attrition, but I want Nan Lee back, but we also have to deal with the Skaven. The Skaven have suddenly disappeared from around Wei Jin, which is highly suspect, so they're probably hiding in ambush. Um Gosh dang, this keeps me in a crappy position. I need three armies, and I cannot field three armies. <laughs> if I ignore the Skaven, they're going to roll me up over here. If I ignore the gate, Chaos is going to roll me up. So, I mean, we are definitely in a bit of a pickle here. And then at any moment, multiple armies of Druki could show up as well. I'm hoping they're busy elsewhere. Okay, there's the Skaven armies. One of the Skaven armies cannot flee, and it's actually the Deathmaster, but he's out of range, so I might as well stay hidden. If he can't see me, there is a chance we get lucky here. He may own this settle. Yeah, he does probably own this settlement. Not 100% sure. He might own this settlement. It's an opportunity for us to get him. His armies are really crappy. They're just huge at the moment. Um, it's it's kind of standard vermintine garbage. Glory. It is my calling. If I colonize this, is it gonna Tire. colonize? Sell your troops. That's gonna reduce my army by a ton, isn't it? And then they'll just turn around and siege me, won't they? I think that's what they would do. They just turn around and siege me while I'm trying to reform my troops. I'm just going to enter an ambush stance there and see if maybe one of these armies will come through there and we can kill them. Alright, the turtle gate is sound for now. Save some cash. Let's... We need to get lucky on a turn in. We need one of these turn ins to go our way. We need the enemy to step in it. Give us something nice here. There's no, ch no guarantee that any of that's going to happen though. It really just depends on how things fall. Okay, so Eshin did not end up falling into our ambush, which means they probably pushed further away from us. I'll bet you that one settlement is theirs. They probably came and took it recently and then pushed on to Wei Jin when they saw that it was unguarded. Give me one reason not to strike you down. Yeah, it's a fair point, vampire. I'm not making peace with you until you make peace with brother. Astromancer. 
Our ambush was foiled, unfortunately. And I'll bet you both of those Skaven armies headed back into this settlement. They both can't be in the settlement? Nope. One of them is here. Let's search the settlement, at least, and see if there's Skaven there. There are Skaven there, which makes this easier for me to take without having to garrison it. Uh, or, like, you know, use my troops to garrison it. Well, at least we took away one of their settlements. It's not much. They're moving underground and likely moving away from us. We haven't seen the last of the situation from over there. Um, no. This army was lured forward. Celestial ancestors. And we have a Natural potential opportunity authority. to kill them. Because we were in an ambush and they didn't see us. We could just stay in the ambush. It looks like they're going to move through. In fact, I, I can't re-enter it. Crap. Dragon-blooded Shugunga. Uh, did they? Oh, they took the gate. I see. That's not ideal that they took the gate. Um, the gate. They're not going to get to actually fight a real battle within it. Um, they do have a fair number of skin wolves. It's a bit troubling. Those are those are some tricky units. My infantry could certainly hold them from the front, and then I think between my tigers... See, the skin wolves are anti-large, though, so my tigers would be in huge danger from the skin wolves. We could encircle them. Then they might get reinforcements. Um, I'd like to win here, because then that should give me control of this gate without me having to give up a whole bunch of my troops and settle it, so let's fight. Alright, the battle's underway. Um... AI has kind of taken up its position. I'm going to use my Tigers as a little bit of bait here. See if I can bait an attack by the AI troops. I'd love to pull them back to my crossbowmen. I just don't know if the AI is going to feel like they have a reason to move. I don't have a fast-moving leader. They are marching. And what I'm doing here is... Like I said, if I can bait the AI properly here, um, I've got an extremely nice defensive position set up back here where I cannot be outflanked by those skin wolves, and I should be able to maximize the damage from our... Okay, they're on. They're full-on going for it now. So we're going to pull back. I'm actually going to go ahead and position my crossbowmen behind my defensive lines. And I'm going to do that so that I don't have to try and move them at the last second away from a charge. It does look like the AI is going to attack me because of my ranged superiority. Just, yeah, we, we can't be outflanked, so we're looking good there. We've got the flanks covered in case any horsemen wheel up and take position. We've got good archer coverage. I'm going to leave my tigers out here as bait. In fact, I'm going to go try and bait this flank in quicker. I want to move into their line here and give them something they feel like they can attack and win quickly. And then, yep, yeah, it looks like maybe they're taking the bait there. So, yeah, we're going to fall back. We've got some skin wolves taking the bait. And we're going to try and peel those units across our line of crossbows here. I'm just going to come back entirely and let my Never infantry units... Warriors. Take the charge. Okay, and then we'll, we may counter charge with our tigers, but I'm, I'm not 100% certain I really want to do that because. Just throw some damage resistance here. Let's put an attack out on those horsemen. Alright, so they are throwing their skin wolves in early. And I think they're going to regret it. I'm going to target their leader with my crossbows should be able to cause them significant damage. So far, our defensive formation is holding out rather brilliantly. Their leader kind of clawed his way through our main line there. I'm going to charge him with the tigers, and I'm going to turn the attention of my crossbows outward. Wind and fire! Celestial fury! Let's actually get rid of these Marauder Javelins. The enemy leader is in pretty serious trouble. My own leader is quite safe. 
I'm just going to continue to use my magic to protect my troops. Use a little bit of magic here to throw some damage out here. There we go. All right, the enemy leader was mauled by our tigers. Our crossbows got rid of the enemy javelin hunters. Let's continue to pick through them. Keep my tigers back here to safe distance. Our infantry line is holding valiantly here. So I'm going to let them do what they do best. The uh, forces of chaos are not well equipped to fight us here. Alright, there's one more Marauder Hunter with Javelin unit back there. I'm going to go for him. And I'm going to use my magic to kind of clean up this fight a little here. There we go. That was some nice damage, so they are not going to like that. And their Javelin units are dropping. Their infantry units are dropping. My own infantry units took minimal damage in return. Minimal damage. Let's give ourselves some protection. Our Dragon-Blooded Shugengen is not a great duelist by any means, but with some extra magic and having already done some pretty serious damage to the enemy leader there, we might be able to finish this melee. I say might. I'm, I'm not 100% confident we will. Um, but we do have our Tigers who can go in for another mauling. So let's do that. Okay. Yeah, our halberds can counterattack here into those chaos warriors. They have a little bit of armor piercing capability. Okay. Things are looking good. The enemy leader just routed again. And then their army is now going to chain route. I'm gonna take my tigers and try to run down some of the enemy troops. These chaos warriors are pretty high value. We're taking a, a lot of cross pot fire in the back at the moment, which is funny. But I'm going to cease that fire and let my tigers hunt these guys down. It'll give them some chevron points, probably, too. Let's go ahead and fast forward. Got to feed the tigers, and um, this is what we're going to do when, when meat so willingly walks into our camp. Um, they're going to be tiger food. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's just make sure the attack stays on here. So I'm clicking the attack orders. I really want to run down, I said, as many of these infantry units as I can. Our tigers are armor-piercing and anti-infantry. They're not super survivable from an armor or defense standpoint, but they are a very high attack unit. Uh, or I say high attack. They're, they're a damage dealer for a fair price point, right? It's probably the best way to put it. 15, 14, 17, 22. Yeah, they're getting a lot of kills. You're definitely getting a fair number of kills here. I've got the other unit moving forward there. I'm going to chew through some of them. All right, this unit's kind of getting away with a lot of models as well, so I'm going to run it down quickly, and then I've got more tiger units, so let's go chase that one because they're headed towards a different exit. All right, that unit got mauled. Let's go mauled the other one. I just want to kind of jack up the kills here, feed my tigers, give them a little experience. And that's going to be looking good. Yeah, we got good kills. One of them double chevroned. All right, looks good. That is a uh, solid victory for us. We took home a bunch of money. They are utterly defeated, and we will have taken control of another gate settlement without having to colonize it. So we will occupy it. So they made the mistake. We capitalized on it. We gained a war horse mount. And then we should be starting to drop the level of chaos threat. So that war horse mount will be helpful. Um, let's go ahead and drop one of those into reassuring presence. We'll put one into... Uh, probably control. We'll just do fervent. And then irrepressible... And then we can start working on these other important upgrades and as well as the magic for our dragon-blooded Shugengen soon. Um, let's see what's happened down here. The Skaven... We can't move on this turn, unfortunately, because I'd love to kill that Skaven army there. I don't know where both of them fled to. The other one might be headed this way or up here into the mountains. I'm not sure. But clearly the Skaven are trying to spread, and we need to put an end to them. We're well past the point of needing to put an end to them. 
Alright, we're going to have to rebuild Wei Jin, so again, I lost some money there. As now I'm going to be <laughs> spending a fair bit and rebuilding it. This is not a building I need here at the moment. I'd rather have defenses. Defenses are going to become pretty critical here. So I'm going to go ahead and spend on it there. Nanli has already been taken over by one of the Chaos factions, so we're going to have to... I think that was Lothar that did that. So now he's replenishing, which means that that's going to be a threat soon as well. So the sooner we can get this threat turned away from the Great Bastion, the better. We are now at a... Yin balance as well, but we're about to finish this building on the next turn, so I think it may actually balance up until our uh, work is done with the... Ooh, we got an Astromancer of Heavens here. Let's take that Astromancer and work our way over and assist this army at the Dragon Gates. We can drop one of the Peasant Archer units in that army and Put our Astromancer in there. All right. I'm going to go ahead and end the turn, so it's going to save my game. Um, but outside of that, folks, it's it's dicey. We're, we're living, but there are still many problems. Um, however, I, I don't feel like we're going backwards. We have more control of the gate now. We still control Wei Jin. We took a settlement off the Skaven. We lost one to Lothar. Unfortunate. Um... But we're gaining capability, uh, and again, if we need to recruit new armies, they can start to sit at these gate settlements where they'll use hardly any upkeep. So that becomes an easier way to protect the gate, or sorry, the bastion over time. Non-aggression pack sounds pretty great, actually. Um, the other Cathay factions aren't all dead, <laughs> which is kind of good news. And then uh, Lothar here is going to lose on an auto-resolve because we took the time to build up our settlement garrison. So that Cafe is a total. big win for us. We, shall prevail. we took home some big cash off of it as well. And then I'm going to grab some more while I'm at it. They are sufficiently broken. So that cash will be useful in funding other things as well. So the Kurgan Warband is destroyed. The threat is ended. That is a big deal. And with the threat... Wind significantly reduced now reduced doesn't mean it's completely gone right but that's that is a good sign for us the dragon gate three turns will need to be rebuilt we are back in balance in terms of harmony i'm gonna keep the pressure on the skaven at this point ready to defend still haven't seen the druki show back up they must be down here fighting possibly against the vampires would be a great opportunity for me to be on the offensive against them but we cannot be at the moment. Of the great bastion. Tolerable. Skaven could be laying an ambush somewhere around here as well, so we'll have to be cognizant of that. These armies no. No. are large but weak in terms of composition, and this garrison's actually stronger than it was the last time the Skaven attacked. This also oh, might lure in the Skaven over here to this settlement that's now unguarded. Um, so anyway, yeah, I think that's going to be it. I shouldn't have done all these moves afterwards because now I'm going to have to end another turn in order to get this to save. That's the mistake I always make when I'm in the um, legendary campaign. So money is starting to be quite decent. Um, it's really just a matter of as long as we can continue to best our attackers this way, uh, we should be safe. But um, hope you all enjoyed this one. Air of Carthage signing out for now. I'm going to push the turn in button after I quit reporting. That way I actually have to stop. But hope you all enjoyed it. I will see you soon with some more action.